here to draw a... Wait, what is that? That's nothing. What? <laughs> what are we drawing? Nothing. No, we're drawing nothing. Welcome today, guys. Boys and girls, we're going to draw nothing. You ready to draw nothing? Yeah. My wonderful assistant? All right, grab a pencil. Uh, I picked this one. Okay, good. And we're going to start out by drawing a circle on our page. Are we going to try to get it perfectly the first time? What do you think? <laughs> yes! Yes! Okay, well, it would be awesome, but we're not going to... We, what happens if it's not perfect the first time? Then we're still doing the video. <laughs> we'll still do the video, but also we don't worry about it because you can always race. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a circle on our page. You want to leave room for the horns up here so you don't want it totally at the top. So circle on our page. Ooh, that looks good. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a smaller circle right about here. So like that. Done. That's a little too small. <laughs> like this. There, there you go. Okay. <laughs> so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to connect... He's scratching his head with a pencil. We're going to subscribe! Okay. Well, he wants us to... Uh, well, he wants you to subscribe. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to connect from here to here with two curved lines. So from here is a curved line like this. And from here is a curved line like that. So two curved lines. That's... What?! <laughs> You want to curve in. So if you're doing it, you're curving in this way, and you're curving in that way, and then connecting to your schnozzle right there. <laughs> All right. So the next thing that we're going to do with the eyes. Now the eyes come right here and here, okay? Right where we made those curve lines. So you're going to do here. Oh, wait. Stop. <laughs> Slow down there. One there, and one there. Good. Hey, you! I know you're being goofy. You want to make make sure if you have something that goes like this, an eye here and an eye here, just remember you can make yourself a guideline like this, and you can know to put your other eye right here. Where I'm making the alien style. Well, we're gonna make him regular style for today. Why? Well, we're gonna try anyway. So the next thing that we want to do is put the shape of the nose on the nose over here, like the black ball on a dog. So. Wait, stop. <laughs> so here, what we're going to do is we're going to make an upside down U, or a rainbow line, like that. Done. That is not <laughs> it! What? Follow directions! <laughs> upside down U, this way, okay? And then you're going to close it up with a curved line. Close it up with a curved line. That's curved in the opposite direction. Are you doing this all on purpose? Yeah. <laughs> no. no. So you want to make sure you curve it this way. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make two curved lines. And remember these two curved lines? We're going to mimic them, but we're going to do them right here and here. So right above the eye, I want to make a curved line like this. And on this eye, like there. So it's curved in. Good. Yay. Woo. No, 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 no. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> All right. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna we're actually gonna split this mouth open. We have it like this right Wait, now. Wait, mouth right? open? Wait, just stop, stop, stop. <laughs> so it's like this. You have your nose. You have this. We're gonna split it open like that. It's kind of like a smiley face, right? That. Oh, I'm. <laughs> Split them out. Oh, that looks cute. I like it. No, it doesn't look cute. It looks beautiful. <laughs> There's no cute here. There's no, no opposite of cute. All right. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over the eyes. No, we're gonna go over the eyes and we're gonna make a curved line like this and a curved line like that. It follows the curve like that. Over the <laughs> eyes. Attached to the eyes. So it'd be here. And you do this one. It's that alien one. style. Alien style, make your other eye. Even aliens have eyes. Oh my goodness. Alright. <laughs> and then we're going to do the ears and the suggestion of horns, and then I'll explain the horns a little bit more. Horns! For, for the ears. Wait, just, wait, just. Horns. Hold your horses! <laughs> Alright, so what we want to do is the top of the head, we're going to make one line coming this way, and one line coming that way. One eye coming this way. Yep. One good. One eye coming that way. 
What? That's <laughs> that's not even at all. I didn't mean you. No. <laughs> all right. I don't know what's happening on that side. Of <laughs> this side of the table is doing what they should be doing. <laughs> this side of the table may have had too much coffee for breakfast. Okay. So what we want to do now is we're going to come in. So we're going to come in with a curve. So it kind of feels like a D. I'm going to let there. D! Uh, <laughs> Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Where are the ears? <laughs> they are there. Okay. So we have our two ears up here. And now for the horns, it depends on what you want. If you want a young deer, they'd be smaller. Um, older deer, it'd be longer. So all we're going to do longer? Right now is... Longer? Yeah. Wait. Good. <laughs> Chill for a second. What we're going to do is we're going to make a curve line on the top of the head. Right here. A curve like a lazy you in a hammock. Lazy you. Okay, so you're gonna do your lazy you up here, okay? Okay, and then from the lazy you, we're gonna go loop de loop up and loop de loop up. Now, if you want more horns on the head, it's okay. What you would do is just build them up loop with more loop de loops behind here, or you can even go further out if you wanted to. It's up to you. Okay, so what we're going to do next is the shading. So my assistant today has decided he's going to use a Sharpie for shading. I'm going to use a charcoal pencil so you guys can see me. So the first thing we're going to do is inside the eyes, wait, hold on, inside the eyes, we're going to make a circle here, and I'm going to make a circle right there. Okay, well, okay, what do you want to white circle so it's not cover it, colored in. Okay, so do the same thing over here. Big white circle. And then around here is what we're going to use to shade in. Can I see? Yeah. This way? I'm trying to see what he's gonna write here. Oh, I think he was right. Sub, scribe. P sub. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what we're gonna do next is the nose. Now for the nose, we're gonna leave a little light catcher on the top. So it looks to me like a little fingernail clipping like that. So you can draw that in. Okay, and then we're gonna shade all around there. So shade around the fingernail clipping. If you want, you can put suggestion of nostrils in on the sides, but you really don't actually have to. If you can also just pull this line a little bit down when you're shading. <laughs> Sub. All right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to do a little shading up in here in the ears. And we're also going to draw a little bit as we should go. So what we're going to do is we are going to make these ears like they're facing forward. So we're just going to mimic the shape that we already have. So you're going to... Make we, more ears? We're not going to make more ears. We're going to make the insides of the ears like that. And then on the outside is where you would shade. And now this is fur. So I'm going to do a little bit... I'm definitely doing it lighter than here. So the tone is lighter in here. And if you want, you can put a little Done. something in here for all of your 27 ears you have <laughs> for your deer. <laughs> and I forgot to make the horn. Okay. And you can do the horn. same thing on the top of the horns. You can make these darker towards the top. And then lighter this way. So darker towards the top. Lighter this way. And then if you have more, obviously you do the same thing. Darker towards the top. Lighter down that way. Darker towards the top. Lighter that way. 
And then I'm going to take my pencil, because that's what I'm using, and I'm just going to go around and start cleaning up and fixing all my little things here. I might make this a little, have a little indent right there as I go along. All Often right. we change our drawings a little bit as we work on them. And then you can also, if you have working with pencil, to get a little bit darker than the muzzle, this is the muzzle right there, you can just use your finger and go in here and do that. You can add a little here, a little more up here, stretch it out from the eye. Um, if you're inclined, you could add all sorts of other details to this. I know a lot of kids like to put spots on their deer. Oop, I'm gonna put a little more fur in the ear here. And again, use your finger. Fingers are great tools that we kind of forget that we have when we're drawing. Look for fancy drawing tools, but you got them attached to your hands. How are you feeling over there, Scooby Doo? You feel done? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed today and your lesson on a deer. See you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>